Hello viewers, I welcome you to AgriWatch. Let us see today's news highlights. India needs farm revolution to attain 9 to 10 percent GDP growth, said by Amita Kant. And the next highlight is Act against sugar mill selling sugar below minimum selling price. Food Ministry. Let's see in detail. India needs farm revolution to attain 9 to 10 percent GDP growth, said by CEO of Ni Nidhi Ayak Amitabh Khan. India cannot achieve 9 to 10 percent GDP growth without revolution in the farm sector, said by CEO of Nidhi Ayak Amitabh Khan. There is a need to boost investment in the agriculture sector as well as to introduce new technology and market reforms. India's GDP has to grow at 9 to 10 percent for the next 30 years, then it can would be bring revolution in agriculture sector. Eliminating middlemen in marketing of farm produce to boost farmers' income, there is a need to spread good agriculture practices and success stories of farmers across the country. The second revolution in agriculture will come from technology and marketing. The next title is Act Against Sugar Mill Selling Sugar Below Minimum Selling Price by the Food Ministry. The Food Ministry has asked states to ensure that sugar mills are not selling the sweetener at below minimum selling price which has been increased recently to rupees 31 a kilogram from rupees 29. The Ministry said mills must follow the sugar price control order 2018 which directs them to sell at the minimum selling price. All mills have to sell sugar at rupees 31 a kg plus GST and transportation charges. Actions may be taken against mills selling sugar below the floor price. Let us see the crop of the day. This soybean. Its scientific name is Glycine Max. It is also called Wonder Crop or Yellow Jewel. So, I mean, it's basically pulse crop, but in India, mostly grown as oil seed crop. World first rank crop as a source of vegetable oil. It contains 42% protein and 20% oil. It is a C3 and short day plant. The fruit type is pot and the introduced varieties of soybean are Black Lee Ken Black Heart Clark 63 and the Indian varieties are Shilajit, Ankur, Alankar, Punjab and Monato. Indian Institute of Soybean Research is located at Indore in Madhya Pradesh. And the term of the day is eutrophication. Accumulation of nutrients in a lake or pond due to human interventions or natural process. Eutrophication is an environment of water by nutrient salts that causes structural change to the ecosystem such as increased production of algae and aquatic plants, depletion of fish species, general deterioration of water quality and other effects that reduce the preclude use. All water bodies are subjected to a natural and slow eutrophication process which is recent decades has undergone a very rapid progression due to the presence of man and his activities, so called cultural eutrophication. The cultural eutrophication process consists of a continuous increase in the contribution of nutrients, mainly nitrogen and phosphorus, until it exceeds the capacity of the water body, triggering structural changes in the water. The structural changes mainly depends three factors. The first one is use of fertilizer and the second one is discharge of waste water into water bodies and the third one is reduction of self purification capacity. As we use fertilizers in the soil 
For agriculture practices, it contributes to the accumulation of nutrients. When these nutrients reach high concentration level and the ground is no longer able to assimilate them, they are carried by rain into rivers and groundwater that follow into the lakes or seas. And the next one is discharge of wastewater into water bodies. It is simple. The waste from effluent, uh, from industries are directly sent into the water bodies. And the third one is reduction of self-purification capacity. As lakes and rivers have the self-purification capacity, but due to the deposition, constant deposition of sediments and nutrients, the capacity of uh, lakes, rivers and sea will be reduced. That's all today's news highlights. In case you have any query, you can comment in the comment section. You can follow the telegram channel mentioned in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Share this information among all your friends. Thank you guys. Keep learning. Let's see in the next video.